everyone should be running Gemma on their desktop. But sometimes you don't want to just run it on your desktop. Who wants to run it on their phones? Come on, hands up. Who wants to run it in their web apps? Imagine every time you pulled up a website or you loaded an app on your phone. It was fully unique. There was nothing preset. It was generated on the fly for you using an on-device LLM. I'm not going to show that demo. We'll get there in a few years, but that's the future that we're heading towards. And what we have today is the first version of LLMs running on device in web and mobile apps. And we're going to walk you through that. Before we get straight into Gemma, let's talk a little bit about the stack that's able to enable this. We're using TensorFlow Lite, which is Google's on-device ML framework, to run all the models and to run all the math. TensorFlow Lite lets you take a Keras or a TensorFlow model, run it through the converter, which does all sorts of nice quantization optimizations for you, get a flat buffer, run it on device, and accelerate it against many backends. But sometimes you don't want to work at the TensorFlow Lite level. You have to handle tensors. It can be a little messy. Sometimes you want to work a little higher level. MediaPipe lets you have native APIs where you can pass text and images in and get solutions out. It does that by chaining multiple ML models along with pre- and post-processing. Mic's not working? All right, we're going to switch over to this one. MediaPipe already has lots of solutions out of the box for you. It has gesture recognition, segmentation, classification. Just a few hours ago, we released a new solution, LLM Inference, which lets you run lots of LLMs on device right there for you. So what can you do with Gem on device? You can run it without any of the privacy concerns of sending data back and forth to the server, without any of the cloud bills, and you could do it really quickly across Android, iOS, and web. Here we show a GIF of our web demo running Gemma 2B in a web app. This is live. You can go to the MediaPipe Studio website and play with, it, with this yourself. Here we have Gemma running on an Android device and an iOS device. This is running using our sample apps that are hosted on our GitHub. Download them and play around. So what can you do with Gemma? You can get it running on your device, but what kind of use cases is it good for? We are primarily talking about the 2B model. We're not quite at 7B on device yet, as much as we would love to be. So you can use it for text generation. We see lots of great examples of content generation, smart replies, emails. We think that this is going to be really prevalent in web apps, particularly going forward. You could do text rewrite. Anytime you have users generating content, you can allow them to change the style, change the length on the fly. And we're really excited about classification. Imagine for user generated content, you can check, you can check for toxicity, for sentiment analysis, try to see, is this content appropriate for my site or my app that I'm using? Last but not least, we think document Q&A is going to be really exciting. We're excited to see lots of applications build rag on top of this and start using it to let developers query against lots of different kinds of text. And once again, you can do this all offline with no privacy concerns and without cloud bills. It's a lot of promise. Let's see how easy it is to really build this. So what we have here is, before we had the studio demo, which is our nice polished demo. This is our example JavaScript app. We have it on our GitHub, so no need to write down all the code we're about to show you. But we're going to be able to walk through all the code that you see here to create this in just a few slides. <laughs> this is all the HTML you'll need. It's not too much. The one thing to call out here is that you have to load our web SDK. Pretty straightforward. All right, once you've loaded the web SDK, 
you hop over to JavaScript, you load in two functions that you'll need, and then you link your model. Because for this demo, we're going to have it running locally. I have the model in the, in the folder. Here, if you were hosting this as a web app, you would host the model and you put your URL here. At the top, you can see we do some settings. We go grab our WASM files and we put our configurations. For here, we're just going to use all the defaults. So we just put the base model URL in there. Here's where you would do things like set your temperature, your top K, your max tokens, anything you want to configure. Then at the bottom, we run our actual LLM inference. Two things, put your prompt in and your uh, listener function. The listener function we showed on the last slide, a couple lines that as the tokens are generated asynchronously, we'll print them on screen for you. All right. And last but not least, you initialize your, initialize your LLM inference. That's it. That's all the code you need to run Gemma in your browser. But this is a demo. We should probably do it, right? All right. Can we switch over to the laptop? Wonderful. What you see here is the demo that we just built. So you wonder, what are you really going to do with this in a web app? I don't know about you guys, but I spend way too much time writing emails and worrying about all the nuances. So I'm going to tell Gemma, hey, my landlord just sent me a letter that said I need to pay him some money. I don't think I really should. I don't want to sit here and write this email for half an hour. I'm going to have Gemma do it for me. does a pretty good job. Not only does it write the email, it asks me to say, can you provide written confirmation of, of your decision? I probably would have forgotten that. That's pretty handy. But because it's a demo, let's run this twice. So we're going to invite all the speakers back on stage, but I don't really know what to say. Let's see if Gemma can tell me what to say. Anyone have a favorite? All right. Well, I'm going to invite all the speakers back. Are you guys ready to unleash your knowledge?